Alright everybody, so what I have here is a little booklet that I made for uh, selling the TA392. So I just have like my picture from when I posted on Instagram that it's for sale. And then here I have a document that shows that the car is actually one of one out of, uh, I think it was 1200 that were built. Uh, it's actually right here. 1265 1170 in the US the car is one of one based by uh, based on the breakdown of the options that were uh, that I when I had the car built so uh, this just shows all that so it says 1265 Dodge Challenger 392 for 2017 112 were white knuckle of these you know it just breaks it down blah 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 so here's a breakdown here showing that it's the one of one this is a uh, eight and a half by 11 of the window sticker. I do have the original window sticker that'll go with the car. Um, but this just shows the total price that I paid with all the options and all that kind of stuff. This is the, uh, the all the paperwork that was in the car when it was built from the factory. So as it went down the assembly line, this is all the paperwork that they would scan the car and then they would see what options they have to put on the car. Um, so there's that one, we have another one here, this just talks more about the car itself. Um, I thought it was interesting that the car was white knuckle, but yet it still says bright white. Uh, there's another one here. And you know, it's all done, you know, this for this car, this is the last four, last uh, eight of the VIN. Here it is again, and just to verify that. See it right there. So I'll go back. Here's another one, and then this is the manifest. So this is every all the pieces that were put into the car, all broken out by part numbers. So as you can see here, I believe this is the interior. Manifest. Oh yeah, you can see it. Instrument panels. And the date the car was built. Time it was being built. Uh, here's the sequence number of it on the line. And here it is again. Here's that little hangy thing that goes on the mirror for uh, you know telling it's an SRT vehicle. Here's the shipping form. For the vehicle and again here's the, the VIN number so once it left the factory this went to the you know the shipping company and that's how they would track where the car was um, this just describes the trunk options everything that goes inside the trunk to make sure they have everything here's another uh, this is the for ground effects when they were putting on the decals when I went from the manu the Brampton plant to the other plant where they put on the the roof decal the side decals all that kind of stuff and then this just describes uh, I made this up all the options on the car so the expel paint protection the coatings um, and then all of my parts that uh, I had put on and this was for the Predator, or the, not the Predator, T1000. Um, that's for paint protection. This is all of the billet technology parts, all my receipts. So you can see here, more receipts, more receipts. This is for the seat belts. That's for the installation of the seat belts. And then I go into all of my uh, service paperwork. I'm not going to move this because my info is there. So this, this just talks about the, uh, I believe this was the oil filter. And then that's about it. 
So I have a lot of paperwork on the car. You know, everything's in this little binder. This obviously goes with the car. And, um, you know, she's beautiful. I hate to sell it, but, you know, it's time to uh, focus on other things. And, um, you know, I just don't, I don't drive it that much, so, to be honest. And I'd rather have somebody that will enjoy the car, you know, drive it. Hopefully not beat the crap out of it, but, you know, once you buy it, you do what you want. Um, but she's awesome. Love her. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to message me, comment, subscribe, and uh, feel free to buy it. Thanks, everybody.